All right, all right, all right. Mr. Fix-It Tight back here with another Fix-It video. This time we got a 98 through 05 ML320, how to remove the ignition switch. They tell you you need a special tool, but you do not need the special tool. All right, first thing you gotta do is you want to loosen your, uh, tel uh, your tilt steering, remove the three screws, the three Torx head screws inside here. Next, you want to remove these little plastic panels. And you remove those by start at the bottom and work your way up around the side and then pull straight out for the last nub. All right, then you want to turn your wiper all the way up and then on each side of this little black housing there's two little locks. You want to undo both sides. And then simply Try this piece up and over. And then the next thing you want to remove is the antenna for your key. There's just some little tabs on the side, you just got to lift that up. Put that out of the way. All right, you will need your key in order to complete this. I guess you could pick the lock or make a key. I'm not sure, but if you don't have your key, you're probably not going to be able to complete this. What you want to do is turn your windshield wipers off. Turn it to the two clicks, but you know, just before start. And then you want to grab the the black piece on the back and turn that counterclockwise. Now you may, if yours has never been taken off before, you may have to, you know, take a pair of pliers and turn turn that black piece counterclockwise. Now once you turn it counterclockwise, you'll feel it click and release and you want to leave it turned and then just grab a hold of the key and pull the entire core out. Now whenever you reassemble this you want to make sure that you still have it together in the same fashion. If you look down inside of there there's a little metal notch not the flat part but the little metal notch that has to line back up inside this little void inside of here. So make sure that you've still got the that you orient this the right way whenever you put it back in. And you also have to have the black piece in the same degree I think that you removed it in. No, nope. you turn it back to where the flat piece is pointing this direction and then it'll pop back together and then once you have it have it fully fully seated you'll hear it click and you'll no longer be able to turn that that black piece you'll turn it back to where it was originally and then you should be able to Turn off your ignition and remove your key, and then just put everything back together. All right, I hope that helped you guys out. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. I'll try to keep the videos coming. Thanks.